The Beneficent, the Merciful, Respected Viewers, Brothers and Sisters in Islam, Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. Today we will continue our discussion regarding women in Islamic history. Today we will discuss the life of Sayyidah Fatima bint Asad, the mother of Imam Ali alayhi salam. Fatima bint Asad was the wife of the Prophet's uncle Abu Talib and the mother of Ja'far ibn Abi Talib and Ali ibn Abi Talib. She also had two other sons, Aqil and Talib ibn Abi Talib. In previous episodes, it had been mentioned numerous of times the great effect a mother has on the outcome of her children's beliefs and behaviors. And if one takes a thorough look at the life of Fatima السلام, one would notice a great effect she had on the way her children turned out to be. Say the Fatima السلام's biggest role in the religion of Islam as a female role model came into place after the death of the Prophet Muhammad's grandfather. She and Abu Talib took Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and to raise him. Many sayings by the Holy Prophet and the members of the Ahlul Bayt prove and ensure that Sayyidah Fatima had a large role in the expanding of the religion of Islam. Once she and Abu Talib had taken the Prophet peace be upon him in, they treated him with love and kindness and cared for him more than they cared for themselves and their children. Fatima bint Asad looked after the Prophet all the way until adulthood. He would say that he remembers she would go hungry to feed him and he respected her so highly. He would say that he remembers she would go hungry to feed him and he respected her so highly that when she walked into a room, he would stand up to greet her and address her as mother, revealing the amount of love and respect the Prophet has towards her. Fatima alayhi salam's role in the religion of Islam as a female role model came into place after the religion of Islam was revealed at the hands of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Being among the first to believe in the Prophet and the message he had come with, Fatima endured many of the hardships that came with standing by the Prophet's side. She endured the three-year economic and social boycott in Mecca and migrated to Medina with other Muslims. Being a powerful woman at the time, because of her superior personality and remarkable characteristics, Sayyidah Fatima السلام, strove towards spreading the truth about Islam and her love towards the new religion. Did not only expand within herself, but it also seen that this love grew and bloomed in the hearts of those who surrounded her. One of the main reasons as to why Sayyidah Fatima السلام, is remembered and looked up to as one of the greatest women in Islam is the fact that she was the mother of the greatest men Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ever created. Created from divine light before the creation of mankind, Imam Ali alayhi salam was a source of truthfulness, wisdom, and was the perfect embodiment of justice and equality. When Sayyidah Fatima was pregnant with Imam Ali alayhi salam, she would occasionally hear the child inside her womb speak to her and would always pray that he would be born safely. On Friday the 13th of the blessed month of Rajab, 12 years before the ordainment of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him as Allah's messenger, Fatima bint Asad felt that she was about to give birth to her child. She came to the sacred Kaaba and began to circumambulate, praying as she walked, O oh Allah, I believe in you and in the messengers and the scriptures you have sent. I believe in what has been said by my grandfather, Abraham alayhi salam, who built the ancient house, the Kaaba. For the sake of the builder of this house and for the sake of the child in my womb who talks to me and who is my helper and friend, I implore you to make my labor easy. The child I am carrying is a sign of your greatness and power. For. The child I am carrying is a sign of your greatness and power. Because of her piety, love, and the amount of sacrifices she had given for the sake of Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not turn away her prayers and granted her what she had asked for. Fatima bint Asad leaned against the wall of the Kaaba to rest. Miraculously, the wall opened, Fatima bint Asad entered, and the wall closed behind her. Some of the Prophet's companions attempted to open the place where Fatima had entered from. However, there was no use, and they instantly knew what had happened was a divine miracle. One of the greatest proofs that Fatima 
alayhi salam, was one of the greatest women alive was that she was blessed with what no other woman had been blessed with. She was the first of all people to enter into the Holy Kaaba and was chosen to be the mother of Imam Ali alayhi salam. While she was inside, she heard a voice tell her to name the newborn Ali, where no one before him has ever had that name and no one will ever have the honor of giving birth or being born in such a holy place. This clearly reveals the greatness of Sayyidah Fatima's character and the position she had in the religion of Islam as a female role model. Also, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, attended her funeral and gave his cloak to being with her at her grave tomb to decrease the spiritual pressure of the first night of the burial. If one were to look at the role of women during that period of time, one would notice that the role women played in the society was very minimal. Having such a powerful and great impact, Sayyidah Fatima salam, revealed that the role of a woman is not limited. In fact, one of the greatest role Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created was the role of a woman. In addition to her role as a mother and wife, a woman is not limited to specific things as others have put in mind. This is revealed through the holy life of Sayyidah Fatima salam, as she not only was a dedicated and preserving mother, but also played a crucial role in society as she assisted in spreading and defending the holy religion of Islam. Because of the holy legacy Sayyidah Fatima salam, had left behind, she has remained and will continue to remain as one of the greatest female role models to have ever existed. Thank you dear viewers for tuning in and we hope to see you next time. Mm -hmm.